Okay, this is my philosophy of education now video. The first question that I would be focusing on is what is education? For me, education is a transmission of anything that can be learned, like a skill or a trade or problem solving, something that a educator or someone higher up can transmit knowledge to someone. Education is important um, for me because it is a vital thing for our society. Um, if we do not educate people, our society would remain stagnant. Therefore, education progresses people and builds them up and helps people move forward. So education is crucial because of how important it is to society and how people will never stop learning. They will continue to learn forever. And so education is a crucial part to our society. Um, which philosophy of education I'm most drawn to would be the progressivism and social reconstruction, reconstructionism. What I like about progressivism is that they focus heavily on being um, a fellow learner with students. So that mentality of education, you there's never a cap. You're always a perpetual student. So as a educator, in the lens of progressivism, you are a fellow learner with your students. Um, I view uh, teachers as a stimulators of interest, a helper and a resource person. Um, the other philosophy that stands out to me would be reconstructionism. Reconstructionism offers that students must learn through practical experience and how to direct change and control. So through life experience, I believe that other people could learn and that you cannot only learn through one avenue but the world is is your oyster of being able to learn and be able to draw from different um, subject matters and different uh, fields and whatnot so I believe that being able to learn from different areas of life is very important So I, I believe that students uh, should think for themselves rather than uh, telling them what to think. That is very important because you, I personally believe that we shouldn't create robots in our world and students should be able to think for themselves and be interested in what they're thinking about rather than creating um, hardened students who you remove the sole aspect of education and you're, they're just, um, robots that carry um, knowledge rather than their soul and their heart being tied with it. Also teacher, what I mentioned earlier, how teachers are fellow learners and not tyrants, creating a de democracy within your classroom and within the educational field. Also believe students can use the subject matter of all or any disciplines in order to solve a problem, like I mentioned earlier, creating students or teaching, educating students where they could be resourceful and create solutions by not just viewing it in a narrow way, but having an open mind and being very resourceful. That is where the uh, social reconstructionism comes from. An educational thinker that stood out to me is John Amos Comenius and I believe the one of the biggest reasons that he stood out to me is that he pushed he is a pioneer within education he fought for 
education for everybody. Um, he fought for um, students' natural tendency to learn and lifelong learning. So creating that um, uh, perpetual student, lifelong learner. Uh, one of the things that really stood out to me that um, Comenius um, implemented was that every age has their own curriculum. And that's crucial because that was very revolutionary for his time. He uh, created um, how um, different age groups, how infants should be taught and, and so on and so on. So there's a specific teacher for infants, there's a specific teacher for fifth graders, seventh graders and so on. Uh, during his time, they would um, mesh all students together and Cromenius revolutionized that by creating that. He also, um, some of the philosophies that he implemented translates to uh, universal design for learning and how it's a flexible learning environment and learning space that, accom that accommodates individuals. So it's very flexible when it came to um, different age group of students, how, how you can focus on one age group and go on to a different age group. And creating that flexibility translates to uh, universal design for learning that is implemented nowadays. Describing the three ideas that are at the foundation of my philosophy of education, I mentioned earlier how students should think for themselves, not creating robots. Teaching teachers are fellow learners, so we're all perpetual students. And creating a democracy, removing the tyrant that w is, that is in the classroom, removing the teacher who um, yells and is very um, conservative with their teachers and just does not respect their students. Also, lastly, the foundation, an idea of the foundation of my philosophy is that creating students who are resourceful students and that they can use a subject matter of all or any discipline in order to solve problems. So whatever I teach within my social science classroom, they could implement that within their English class or their pre class or their math class and vice versa, creating a well-rounded student to be able to solve greater problems and use that um, knowledge and that format of education and being able to translate it into the real world. Some controversies within that are related within the competing philosophies of education would be that one that stood out to me was changing a later start time. As a progressivism, I would let the students be able to pick it for themselves because they are the ones that are having to go to school. However, an essentialist would argue that discipline and students needing to follow rules would be the way to do it. Another controversy would be the teaching of sex education. As a progressivism, I would encourage students to be perpetual students and continue to learn and be wise in their education. However, an essentialist might argue that sexual um, would be opposed to sex education because of it not being important and placing heavy emphasis on traditional curriculum, just like math. The same argu argument could be made for ethnic studies. As a progressive, I would encourage my students to pursue further education, be that perpetual student, and learn, try to find out ethnic studies and learn more about that. However, an essentialist would argue that it is futile and it's not necessary. And they would place heavily emphasis on traditional curriculum, like math and English and the traditional education format. 
I would like to see, my vision for education. Well, how I would like to see it is that, like I mentioned earlier, that students would be perpetual students. That we teach them skills that could translate into the real world, rather than just being book smart. They could be real, real world smart. And I would like them to be both book smart and real world smart. Be able to learn how to problem solve in the real world. I don't want students who go into the real world and the only thing that they have to offer is being able to do mathematical problems or recite facts. I want them to problem solve. So that's what I would like to see in education moving forward. And finally, the way I would relate my philosophy of education to my previous discussion of Christ and faith is through what I mentioned earlier in how I don't view students as below me. We are all equal and we are all, we are all made in the image of Christ. And I believe that I am not above my students. I am responsible for my students, but I am not above my students. And there's a huge difference in that. And I believe there's certain teachers that believe that they are above their students. And I would argue that we are all equal, made in the image of Christ, and that we should all move forward, help one another, and create a, a kingdom culture, culture environment so we could be perpetual students rather than tearing each other down and creating a toxic environment, a tyrant environment, environment i believe that a democratic environment within our classroom is crucial and important that way students could feel safe coming into the classroom and feel the love of christ through their teachers so this is my philosophy of education video and yeah